In this video, we're talking about proportion, but in order to talk about proportion, we have to talk about ratios. So what is a ratio? Well, a ratio is just a fraction. Up until this point, we've gotten very comfortable talking about fractions. Fractions just being one fourth, two thirds, five sixths, one number over another number, a numerator and a denominator. A ratio is exactly the same thing, it's a fraction, but we like to use a different word because we're really using ratio to describe something specific. We're talking about the ratio between one thing and another thing. In other words, if every time I go to the grocery store, I buy two apples and three oranges, and I always buy two apples and three oranges, if I double that, I'm gonna buy four apples and six oranges, that's a ratio. In other words, my ratio is two to three. Every time I buy two apples, I buy three oranges. And no matter how many apples I buy, if I buy 10 apples, I multiplied my apple order by five, I'm gonna have to multiply my orange order by five and buy 15 oranges. So I'd buy 10 apples and 15 oranges. I always buy in that ratio two to three. Now a proportion is just two ratios or two fractions set equal to one another. So for example, in this problem, I have 20 over 36 equal to four over X. So I have two fractions or two ratios that are set equal to each other. So what I'm really asking here is if 20 is to 36, four is to what, right? Because I have this X here, I'm trying to solve for X. So I have this one fraction, this one ratio that describes the relationship between two values. And I wanna know what's the same relationship if instead of 20, I take four. When you're dealing with proportions like these ones, there's a couple things you wanna remember. First, you wanna see if you can reduce either fraction we obviously can't reduce 4 over X, but we can reduce 20 over 36. We can divide both of these by 4. So if we divide 20 by 4, we're going to get 5. If we divide 36 by 4, we're going to get 9. So we get 5 over 9 equals 4 over X. We haven't changed this fraction at all. We just divided the numerator and the denominator by four. So we reduced it. And now we have five over nine equals four over X. Now this equation says, if every time I give you five, you give me back nine, what are you gonna give me back if I give you four? Now, in order to solve for X, and this is the other thing you need to remember with proportions, the easiest way to solve is just to do what we call cross multiplying. And all that means is that we're gonna multiply five by X and we're gonna multiply nine by four. We just make a cross in the middle here and we multiply. So five times X is gonna give me five X. Nine times four is gonna give me 36. So I get 36. Now this is just a simple equation that I can solve for X by dividing both sides by five. When I divide both sides by five, I'll get five to cancel from the numerator and denominator, leaving me with just X on the left. So I get X is equal to 36 over five. If I convert that to a mixed number, I can call this seven and one fifth. So in other words, in order for these ratios to be equal, X has to be equal to seven and one fifth. And so that just means if I give you 20 and you give me 36 back, if the ratio holds, then when I give you four, you're going to give me seven and a fifth back in order for these things to be equal. So let's look at another example here. We have two over four is equal to X over 20. So again, we want to see if we can reduce either fraction. And in fact, we can reduce the fraction on the left. We just need to divide the numerator and the denominator by two and two fourth reduces to the fraction one half. So we get one half equals X over 20. With X in the numerator here, really all I'm saying is what's one half of 20, right? Because if I just multiplied both sides by 20, I'd get 20 to cancel on the right hand side here in the denominator and I'd just be left with X is equal to 20 times one half. And of course I would get 10. We can see just by looking at this that X is gonna be equal to 10 because if I say one half equals X over 20, I know that X has to be 10 in order to make that true. In other words, I could look at it this way. I could say I have to multiply two by 10 to get 20, which means I'm gonna to have to multiply one by 10 to get whatever's over here. So I'd get 10 equals X. And again, this works if you just cross multiply. If we draw our X here and we say one times 20 gives us 20, and we say two times X gives us two X, and then we divide both sides by 2, 20 over 2 gives us 10, so we get 10 equals X. So it works that way too, and cross multiplying will always work. You can use it every single time, no matter what. So that's the easiest way to do it, but some of them will be simple enough. You'll probably be able to get a guess for X just by looking at the problem, like this one where we said 1 half was equal to X over 20. You can probably guess that X has to be 10 because these ratios, these fractions, have to be equal to each other, and you know that 1 over 2 is the same as 10 over X.